Hello there guys, it's me and Stable Voltage, and welcome to a little channel update video. You might be wondering why I am playing uh, Planet Side 2. It is a game that I play in my spare time, but not something that I really do uh, a lot with on the channel. Uh, but I've decided to start having a go at recording 60 frames per second video. So 60 frames per second is something that YouTube have just added as an option. Haven't tried it yet. Now, even if I do manage to get this working, I won't be doing all of my videos in 60 frames per second because it does seem a little bit pointless for things such as civilization and games that are relatively slow paced like that. Um, but what I was considering doing is if I do any sort of uh, faster action based games, then 60 frames per second would be a good way to do that. So this is just basically my way of testing it. Obviously, it does have certain drawbacks. For example, it's going to have, um, you know, larger file sizes, which means it will uh, take longer to render videos. It will take longer to upload videos as well. Not entirely certain why I just pulled this Valkyrie, because I am not a pilot in this game. I am normally a foot soldier. At the very best, I am tank crew. So taking this was a little bit silly. Let's try and avoid the enemy fighters there. So I thought I would use this as an opportunity to do a little bit of an update video. Um, first of all, uh, Europa Universalis 4 series has finished. A couple of reasons for that. Uh, the views of the series have been dropping considerably, which is not unexpected. I always knew it was going to be difficult to maintain that series. Mainly because that there's quite a lot of downtime in between wars, where you're just waiting for... Um, claims to fabricate. That was a really, really bad place to try and squeeze through, wasn't it? Uh, you're waiting for claims to fabricate. You're waiting for your manpower to recover. And it gets quite boring. On top of that, the Art of War expansion has just been released. And even though I haven't purchased the Art of War DLC, there are still certain changes made to the base game. And those changes do include the rejigging of some of the provinces. So... Some provinces have been chopped up into smaller provinces, which is fine, except it broke the save game a little bit. So I can't actually... Well, I could get the save game to load. don't want to hit that tree. It's very difficult when you can't see what you're doing here. Um, so, yeah, the save game got a little bit busted up. I'm not too bothered about it because I was in two minds of whether or not to continue with the series. And to be quite honest, that just made my mind up for me. Uh, so what I'm going to do, in place of Europa Universalis, I will be doing um, Civilization V and also obviously Civilization Beyond Earth, which I've now started. So I'll probably either alternate and do one video each day. Obviously I'm still putting out a Beyond Earth video every day because it is still, uh, still a new game, still popular. And I'm still learning it, so I'm playing it a lot. So what I'll either do is, if I have the time, um, I will put out one every day. Uh, of each and if I don't I'll start alternating them and doing one of each on alternating days still going to carry on doing Xenonauts over the weekend now unfortunately I've been ill since last weekend which was initially fine because I had recorded a lot of videos in advance because I was supposed to be going away the weekend before last which never happened and then I was away last weekend for a little bit that's when I got ill and um yeah, I got through my backlog of recorded videos. I normally record videos in batches of two, uh, twos and threes, and I'll do that every day, just so that it gets me uh, ahead a little bit in uh, in the videos that I have to put up. Um, but I've literally got through that backlog now. I have still been recording a few videos while I've been ill, um, but the problem is I've been uh, very, very, without wanting to get into too much detail, very, very sort of bunged up, and uh, obviously it's difficult to talk bit of a sore throat, um, got quite a bad cough as well, and uh, short videos are fine, but if I'm trying to record three, four, five videos in a row and I'm recording for, you know, one to two hours, uh, the cough starts to come out and that makes it very, very difficult to, uh, to continue, and I don't want to have to spend a lot of time editing out coughs and snorts and nose blows on, on the videos that I do. Is that a friendly Valkyrie? Can't actually see and I've just clipped her up. Um, so, yeah. That's definitely not a friendly liberator. I'm about to get horribly murdered here. So let's try and get out of here. Not sure what I'm being shot at by, but here we go. Next, yeah, shot at by that liberator. That was my own fault for um, straying too far from the safe zone. So what else have I got to say? Yeah, so uh, Europa, Universal, uh, ugh, words. Europa Universalis is ending. 
Um, that's where I got shot down. Yeah, I strayed into the um, the NC, the new conglomerates territory there. That's where that all went wrong. Well, we are assaulting here. Let's try and go for that. Um, so, yeah, Xenonauts will carry on at the weekends, but this weekend there probably won't be any Xenonauts, unfortunately. I'd like to do some, but I, I just can't really do all that. Well, shot again. Just can't really be bothered to do uh, any recording for this weekend. I have done some recording for Civilization V, the One City Challenge, and also for. Um... Oh, there's a guy around here. Playing and talking at the same time, two very difficult things. Um, so yeah, I have recorded some videos for the One City Challenge. I have also um, recorded some videos for Beyond Earth, and hopefully I'll be able to carry on without too much of a pause over the uh, over the weekend. But yeah, Xeno Noughts is not going to happen this weekend, I'm afraid. Uh, I do want to get that series finished, to be honest, as quickly as possible. I kind of hit that guy. He has very good cover. Um, yeah, I do want to get Xeno Noughts finished as quickly as possible because I think the series is starting to drag on a little bit now. Mainly my own fault for only doing it at weekends. Maybe I'll try and do a couple of videos on each day at the weekend, or maybe I'll try and put some out in the week if I can as I get road killed by her and her harasser. Very annoying. Um... I, I want to try and do some more videos on the channel, as in uh, different series. I don't know what yet. I haven't quite decided. There's a few good games coming out. I would have said initially I'd love to do um, the new Batman game that's coming out, but the problem is, as I had before with Warner Brothers, uh, when I tried to do Arkham Origins, is um, you just get content ID'd on all of them. And uh, oh, that harasser, man. I'm going to leave this area. Uh, and also assisted by a Solstice VE3. 11% of my damage came from friendly fire. That's planet side for you. Um, why is nobody dealing with this harasser? What's going on? Seriously. Let me just take a... Um, Anti-vehicle max unit. See him come back now. Um, so, yes. All the words. It just road killed me. I'm having one of those terrible days. This is why I don't play this game in public view. I'm not terrible at it. There was at one point I was in the top 100 p uh, pick players on this server. Um, they really want to try and get rid of this uh, Sundra. They're not doing a very good job of it. The harass is nearly dead. So I've now just completely lost my um, train of thought now. Yeah, that spawn point's gone. They've actually managed to take the Sundra out. Let's go over here then and just sit. Oh, don't want to go into the depot. Uh, it's actually been a little while since I've played. It's also like I've forgotten how the game works. And it's just spawn me as a light assault because it's annoying. And it does that if you were playing as a max and then you die. Then automatically respawns you as a light assault, which I don't want to be because I always play an engineer. So let's go ahead and do that. How are my uh, mines and grenades and everything? Are we always at the top number. Looks like they've sorted that out. Um... So yeah, I still need to find other videos to do on the channel. I definitely want to try and do The Witcher 3 when that comes out, but that's not going to be until February. That's the only real thing that I have on my to-do list that I would like to try and cover at some point. Uh, let's have a quick look at the map here and just see uh, where we're going. I think I actually might go over here and um, get some payback on that harasser if I can find it. So much so, I'm actually going to go and pull my... Oh, I don't have the resources. A little bit short on vehicle resources to pull that. Oh, we can wait for a, for a minute or two. Um, what else? I'm sure there was something else that I meant to say. And one of the reasons I did pick this game for this uh, 60 frames per second demonstration is it is a de fairly decent um, game motion-wise. It runs pretty consistently for me at 60 frames per second. As you can see, if you look down at the bottom left-hand corner, uh, there is a frame counter down there. Most of the time, it's on 60. Occasionally, it does peak above 60. Uh, obviously, that won't show in the video anyway, because the video is only going to be 60. But very rarely, it will dip down to um, below 60. Even if I'm looking around here at all the trees and the buildings and moving around... Sorry if I'm making anybody motion sick here, but... You know, moving around quite quickly. It did drop down to 59 just there, but... You know, most of the time it is quite happily at, uh, at 60. So, it's, it's fairly good for that. Can we actually go and pull this uh, pull this Mag Rider now? Uh, 480. Yes, we can. So, let's go... Uh, let's go out in our tank. This is the one vehicle that I usually play as. It does pinball bounce off the side of things. It is a... It, it's actually a hover vehicle. It's a hover tank. Um, 
It has the advantage of being able to move sideways, but that can also be a little bit of a disadvantage sometimes as well. Because the only tank... There's three factions in Planet Side 2, if you're not aware of them. You've got the uh, the the, um, the Varnu, which is the uh, people that I'm playing as. The VS, the Varnu Sovereignty. There's the new conglomerate, the blue guys. And there's the TR, the Terran Republic, the red guys. And... Um, they all have their... There are a few common pool vehicles that all factions have. Um, but there's also some faction-specific vehicles. And this, the Mag Rider, is one of the uh, Varnu faction-specific tanks. And it's the only tank, the only faction tank, that actually uh, can strafe sideways. But the downside of that is that the, uh, the front-facing cannon is front facing it's actually fixed to the nose of the vehicle which means it's very very uh, problematic that you always have to have the front of your, your vehicle towards the enemy you can't actually uh, move forwards and backwards and rotate the turret like you can on the nc and the uh, tr tanks so just keeping my eye out i've got thermal vision on this as well this is one of my most upgraded vehicles this is an mmo game there's uh, there are several servers but there's literally thousands of players on each server. Uh, each world is divided up into various different continents. For the longest time, there was only three continents. There was uh, Esamir, which is a very barren, snow-covered, tundra-like continent. There is Indar, which is a very sort of um, uh, barren, desert-like continent. And then there what is, um, or was Amarish which is a very green and lush uh, biome. This is uh, Hosin, which is actually one of the new continents that was added quite recently. Um, and they've recently added a thing called continent locking, where to stop people being spread out over all the different continents in the game, they've actually made it so that some continents get locked until certain continents get captured, which is why I'm on Hosin. This uh, continent is still technically in beta. It's a little bit buggy. You know, it's still not quite finished. They keep changing the layout of bases. And I, I don't know this map at all. I get lost uh, quite easily. Uh, NC have just captured the, uh, the substation. They've killed us all off. Just trying to look around for them. Got to be careful because there are certain people that do have C4 and rocket launchers, uh, anti-tank mines, anti-tank grenades. So, got to be careful. There's one guy coming in for a bit. This guy's a light assault. It's going to be difficult to hit, but not impossible. He's going to try and get me. He can't actually do any damage to me with his, uh, his, his gun. What he's going to try and do is he's going to try and get above me so that he can plant C4 on me. That's what he's attempting to do here. But just shot him. There we go. Just backing off so he couldn't get at me. I don't actually have a gunner at the moment. This uh, this vehicle does have a second gun. You can choose the, well. You can choose the primary gun. There's a few different primary guns you can have. This is the standard primary gun that has a little bit of splash damage, and it's mainly designed as an all-purpose gun. It's sort of anti-tank and anti-infantry, as it were. Um, there is a um, there is a version that has better splash damage, which is designed to do more damage to um, infantry. So it's no good against tanks and things like that, but it will do more damage to um, it will do more damage to infantry because it has a uh, better splash radius. Uh, there's also one that um, does more damage to vehicles, but you have to be more accurate with that because it doesn't really have ah what a shot. Uh, you have to be more accurate with that one because it doesn't have any splash damage at all. So you actually have to hit enemy armor dead on, and uh, it has a bit of weapons drop as well. It actually fires a little bit like a mortar. So this one that I have on here, this is the uh, this is the standard all-purpose one. Uh, then you have a secondary gun that you can have a gunner work, but I don't have a gunner at the moment, so no one's using that. Uh, I prefer the faction-specific gun, which is called the uh, the Sauron. I'll just pop into that right now, which is this uh, thing here on the uh, the top. And this thing actually fires these. Um, sort of plasma shots quite rapid fire they've actually changed it when the f game first came out it used to fire a single shot at a time and it was almost like a rail gun it was deadly accurate you could fire a single shot uh, and hit somebody and it would nearly always result in a kill i know this guy likes to keep popping up over the wall and firing at me i'm just trying to see where he is there he is 
did actually hit him there, but didn't get the kill. And then I jumped out of my tank by accident. It'd be very, very difficult to uh, to actually hit him. I can see him on the minimap. I know he's up there somewhere. I have to get out of here at some point because it doesn't look like anybody's actually making any sort of effort to uh, to capture this place. And he missed. There's an enemy vehicle. Well, the enemy vehicle's going to be upstairs. Let's just get out of here. Oh, someone's bringing round a lightning. That's what they're trying. I see. I see what you're up to there. Got to be careful here because lightnings are a lot more maneuverable than I am. I also have the disadvantage here because... The problem is, it's very difficult to point down. If he gets beneath me, which is very much what he's trying to do here, then he will have a lot of advantage on me. I can keep trying to move around, but it's very, very difficult for me to... I'm going to detonate my smoke, which will make it a lot harder for him to see where I am. Yeah, he got me. Got him very, very, very close to being out there. Uh, but, of course, 47% of my damage also came from that heavy on the roof with his shrike. The tank only actually did 52% of my damage, which is a little bit annoying. So, oh, we do actually have another Sundra in there. Sundra is this little, um, well, this is, this is the Sundra. It's this, uh, the, the battle bus, basically. It's an armoured vehicle that you can spawn on. So the idea is you get one of these behind the enemy lines and use it as a, uh, as a mobile spawn point. A lot of uh, lot of vehicles around here, though, and a lot of infantry. So we're probably not going to be able to uh, to take this this facility. But uh, I think I've got enough footage now to uh, be going with to try and do this uh, 60 frame per second demo. I see there's a, there's a tank in there. What I might actually do, just to um, make life interesting, is just drop these mines and try and bait him around the corner. Oh, he didn't follow me. If you saw me drop, oh, I actually got taken out by the the ESF. The uh, oh. I was hit by somebody's mine. That's probably my own mine that got shot by the tank. And then I was killed by the ESF, the Empire-specific fighter. And this is the... Um... Oh, I've forgotten the name. Is it a Reaper? Forgotten all the names of the uh, ESFs now. That's terrible. Can respawn on this Sundra. It's probably a really bad idea. There's so much nasty stuff around here. Just getting in the uh, the gun on the Sundra. Uh, there is friendly fire in this game as well. So you do have to be careful. You can actually... Um... You can actually hit and damage friendlies. If you hit friendlies too much, you will actually get a um, you will actually get a penalty. You get warned, and then you will get a weapons lock. So you do have to avoid shooting your own teammates. Although sometimes it's unavoidable. Sometimes your own teammates just walk in front of you. I'm just waiting for that uh, fighter to dip back down again. I can see him on the mini map, lining us up. It won't take much damage to actually uh, kill that fighter off, and we are being repaired. He's going around the other side now. I just see him on the minimap. And uh, again, the um, NC managed to keep this station. So this is the way it works with this game being uh, an MMO, is that there's always a perpetual battle going on. And basically, you're just fighting for the control of these... Um, you're fighting for the control of these stations, and... Wow, this, uh, this thing has no upgrades whatsoever. Let's do as much damage to this tank as possible. Got heavies firing at us. This uh, Whoever owns this Sundra doesn't appear to have spent a lot of certifications in it because there's no, um, there's no upgrade on the uh, weapon optics at all. I've got no zoom. I've got no thermal. There's absolutely nothing there. So just looking around, trying to see where the bad guys are. Looks like they're all to the north, actually, but I can't actually see where they are. There's one over there. One over there. Managed to hit him a few times. They're all in front of us, actually. They can't see because where the other gun is. Yep, there's one. One behind us. I might just go out and just shoot him in the face, just, just for shits and giggles. Lots of grenades coming in. We don't like grenades. Oh, he seems to have disappeared. Has he gone up here? I'm an engineer. I'm not really cut out for taking out tanks. I mean, I do have some anti-tank mines, but... Um... Yeah, that Sunder has been destroyed. Let's go up to the upper floor. It's probably a bad idea. I 
I've actually got hundreds and hundreds of hours clocked on this game. I can't remember the exact figure. I think it's over 600 or something ridiculous like that. When it first came out, I used to play it so much. I was on it like every day. Which is one of the reasons I was in the top 100. I mean, I've never been a competitive player. And I wasn't even competitive when I played this. And I didn't try to get in the top 100. It was literally... I think I was 80... I was either 86 or 83. I can't remember the exact number. Uh, it was the highest I got. But then I kind of stopped playing. Uh, just a little bit bored, but... Oh. That was me accidentally firing at someone because I got a little bit um, twitchy. And then he decided just to kill me. So, yeah. Oh, we've got this harasser guy in here still. He's just going to road kill me. Oh, he is actually down. There's a light assault trying to get a kill. We've got a couple of kills here. So, the way this game works is... You have several different classes as well. You've got your um, infiltrator, which serves two roles. You basically be either a sniper or you can be um, a sort of stealthy recon type class. You've got the light assault, who is your all-round standard rifleman, but has a jetpack, so you've actually got a good amount of mobility and you can uh, reach hard-to-reach places on the map. You've got your combat medic. Ha as the uh, name suggests, you can uh, resurrect and heal people. You've got the engineer who can repair vehicles and supply ammunition to the rest of the team. And then you've got the heavy assault who is uh, your sort of LMG and rocket launcher type guy. Uh, you also have the uh, max units as well. Which is basically sort of a, an exosuit that can be equipped with various different weapons like anti-infantry, uh, anti-air, anti-armor and stuff like that. And then you've got the uh, the number of vehicles. So you have the Flash, which is basically just an all-terrain buggy that uh, all factions can use. Then you've got the Harasser, that you've seen me getting killed by several times. Uh, the Flash is a two-man drive. So you've got the driver who works the front gun, and you can also carry a passenger on the rumble seat as well. Um, you've got the Harasser, which is a three-man drive. You've got the driver, you've got the gunner, and you've got a back seat as well. Someone can actually shoot from the back seat. Then you've got the Sunderer, which is that um, battle bus, that spawnable battle bus. Uh, you've got the Lightning, which is an all-round um, sort of lightweight one-man tank that every faction could pull. You can get anti-air variations and anti-infantry and anti-armor and stuff like that. Then you've got the Mag Rider, which I showed you, the hover tank. Uh, that's the uh, Empire-specific uh, tank for the uh, Varnu Sovereignty. Um, the Terran Republic get the uh, Prowler, which is a very big uh, tank with a double barrel on it, and it can also deploy for extra damage. And the, um, the new conglomerate have the Vanguard, which is a big two-man tank that has a shield it can power. Uh, then you've got the um, the Scythe here, which is the Varno Empire-specific fighter. Um, the uh, new conglomerate wrong is the uh, Reaver. I've just remembered. It's not the Reaper, it's the Reaver. And then there's the uh, Terran Republic one, which is the uh, Mosquito. Uh, then you've got the Valkyrie, one of the newest vehicles added. I've, I've not even really used it. Apart that sort of flight that you saw me with at the beginning of the video, this is what I was flying. Second time I've ever flew one. I flew one in the virtual reality training. I have no upgrades for it at all. I haven't even got my camo on it. I use this camo for everything, uh, but I haven't even got the camo on this. This is a, a six-man transport. You have one pilot, one gunner, uh, and up to four people. It's designed. It's very maneuverable. Designed for low-altitude flights. It's a little bit like a uh, like a Black Hawk, really. Uh, you've got the Liberator. This is the uh, game's gunship. Three-man crew. You've got your uh, pilot with a fixed front gun. Uh, then you've got your main gunner. A variety of different guns on the back. This is for high-altitude bombardment of infantry and armor, really. And then you have a tail gunner that is you that can either fire at ground troops or sort of shoot anything that's chasing you and then there's the galaxy again something that i don't bother with but this is the big old sky whale this is the 12 man high altitude very slow very non remove uh, maneuverable transport and they're all the vehicles in the game and they're all common pool so the only ones that are faction specific really is the uh, faction specific fighter and the faction specific tank everything else is uh, sort of common pool uh, but what you do for all of these um, various different classes is as you play the game you actually get these things you get search you can buy station cash which is um, you know sort of uh, stuff you pay for with real currency uh, but as you play the game you will actually gain these certifications through play and you can use these certs to unlock various different um, things for your class so you can unlock weapons you can unlock skills you can unlock types of armor so if you go into a weapon for example let's go back into this one we can go into this weapon 
and you can actually uh, unlock various different attachments for it. Uh, some of them you can pay for with station cash, some of them require certs. Most of the uh, cosmetic stuff requires certs, but yeah, overall I do enjoy this game. Like I said, I haven't played it for a long time, but uh, I'm getting back into it, been playing it a little bit more. As you can see, hosting early expedition basically means that it is still in beta. And even just spawning back in there, the frame rate didn't really uh, drop an awful lot. So thanks a lot for watching, guys, and listening to me ramble on. You may not see the 60 frames per second YouTube video on all browsers. I believe that some browsers are having a little bit of trouble with it, probably Internet Explorer and stuff like that. But Firefox and Chrome should be okay with it. So have a look. Let me know what you think. Uh, like I said, I won't be doing uh, 60 frames per second for all of my videos because it does seem a little bit pointless for things like Civilization and uh, Beyond Earth and Europa Universalis and Xenonauts and stuff like that because they're not really fast-paced games. Oh, it looks like this base is actually being attacked. Yes, there's a few people in here causing some problems. It would help if I could aim. Oh, no, he was still behind me. Okay, well, that's a good point to end. So, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Until then, goodbye for now.